you receiving the same customer support inquiries every single day, multiple times per day? Today I'm going to share with you a few examples of candid responses templates you can use today in order to reduce your first time to reply and make your customer happier. So let's get started. Ciao, my name is Luca, I'm a co-founder at Customerly. And on this channel, I make videos to improve your customer relationship thanks to behavioral chat emails in order to retain, engage and support better your customers. So be sure to subscribe and enable the notification in order to never miss a video. So in this video, I want to cover what is a candid response, how you can write and create and reuse a candid response, a few examples on when and how you can use a candid responses. So first of all, what is a candid response? A candid response is a pre-saved textual answer that you can reuse every time you're getting a frequent asked question from your customer support. How do you write a candid response and when do you know that you need one? While you're answering to your customer inquiries and you're getting the same questions, and you're replying the same thing again and again, that's when you will need a candid response. So how do you write one that is effective the next time that you're gonna need that kind of discussion? First of all, you want to think about it in a scalable way so that you can reuse that kind of answer for each customer and for each situation. The same situation can have different kind of outcome. So maybe you want to create different part of candid responses and then merge them later on. Let's see some examples, shall we? So this is the candid response manager in Customerly and these are the templates you can use immediately to improve your uh, first reply. So let's see, for example, this one. Hello name, my name is Miao. It will be my pleasure to help you with your issue. So this is a first example of a first reply when someone is reporting an issue with your software or your product. It's crucial when someone is reporting an issue that you follow up no matter what is happening on your team. So let's check this template because it's super helpful. You're keeping posted the customer on the status of the inquiry. So our team is on it and this should be fixed by, and of course here you can change your estimate. When the bug has been fixed, you might want to follow up to reassure the customer that has been properly fixed. So let's check the templates over here, bug fixed. As you can see, I took the time to circle back with you regarding the bug you reported previously. Uh, thank you so much for reporting it. So we're going to inform you that it's been fixed now. Also, you can add, can you check please if everything is good on your side? So it's a double check that everything is fine and uh, the customer has the issue solved. Sometimes happen that customers or prospects ask for a feature that you currently don't have in your software. This is why we suggest to use a candid response to manage this kind of situation. Let's check the template. You will go for this feature not supported. So at the moment, this is not supported, but I hope that in the future, we will be able to implement more integration in order to improve the service and the app functionality. Also, you might wanna tag the customer that are asking for a specific feature while you're having the conversation with them in order to follow up and send them a newsletter saying, hi, you asked for this feature a long time ago and I wanted to follow up saying, you know, we have included this feature now. So as you can see in your inboxes, this customer is asking for a CSAT survey that we currently don't have. So here to reply, we're going to search for supported. And this is it. So we're going to click or press enter. I can also add our public roadmap, but that's okay. We're going to send it. And now to keep the customer in the loop, I can now add a CSAT tag. And from now on, I will know exactly that this customer and others can be interested in receiving a newsletter about the CSAT feature that has been created. So you can go to outbound, for example, emails. So this is the email message you can send to them in order to update that the feature has been released. 
So now you can send to all the people with the specific tag that you've been hunting. So for example, again, CSAT. So we got two people over here asking for the feature and now we can save it and send it. That's it. How many times a customer asking you a new feature maybe ask for an ETA to get the feature up and running? And maybe your tech team is overwhelmed with new tasks and you're not able to share any ATA with the customer. So what you're going to reply? This is the template you might want to use. The ATA template, when you don't know what's the ATA on a certain product release, currently I'm not able to provide a certain time frame, but stay tuned for future updates as new features are introduced daily. Sometimes feedback are harsh to receive but you need to share more appreciation within your customer that are willing to share a feedback before churning. And that's something you want definitely to avoid with your software. You might want to reply to this feedback with a proper answer that's, that is encouraging people to share more in the future. So this is the kind of response you might want to use. Appreciate feedback. As you can see, we are saying we appreciate user feedback and always encourage su suggestions to make our platform more efficient. I will forward this to our team for review. Please let us know if there is anything else I can assist you with. Again, as you can see, this is helping you and your team to gather more feedback before the customer is churning. So whenever someone is asking about getting a demo from you, you can share the old candidate response with your link and a kind message to attach to. So this is the template. Here's the current link candidate response. Hello name, here's a link to my calendar. Feel free to choose a time that works for you. Um, blah, blah, blah. Here you can replace the calendar link. Thanks, meow, and that's it. Here you might wanna remove the share with teammates because if the Calendly link is your own personal link, you might wanna keep it just for you instead of sharing with the old teammates. So each teammate will have their own Calendly link shortcut and without sharing with other teammates. This is super important. So we're going to remove it right now and we can save it. Cool. There are plenty of other candidate responses templates that you can use today. I'm not gonna bother you with all of them, but you can go on the customerly candidate response manager and add them based on your expectation, based on what you need, based on your product, of course. But this is how you can create a candidate response. And this is a strategy, strategy that you can use with your team in order to reduce the customer support workload and increase the customer satisfaction. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments if you would like to see any other video like this one, which thing you would like me to cover in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. Ciao.